Hey guys, on the side here with Let's Play Oblivion, and on this wintry cold night I'm going to start the slaying of the rest of the Draconis family, leaving the mother for last, because, I don't know, it seems like the kind thing to do, it's probably the meanest thing to do, but that's what I'm doing. So, I'm going to just pick one at random, got all my quest pointers around here. There's one at Muck Valley Cabin here, it's the only place I'm going to have to travel to by hand, so I'm going to head to the Gate of Oblivion and see you when I get there. Well, arriving at Muck Valley Cavern here, extremely foggy, so I hardly even spotted it as I was coming up to it, but it is just this rock over here. So I'm going to head inside and see if we can find one of the Draconis family. Not sure which one I'm looking for in here. Muck Valley Cavern would be Sibylla Draconis. And there's a lion attacking me. So I'm going to cut him down to size very quickly and effectively. And there's a bear. And this dagger I'm pretty sure will run out of enchantment pretty soon. But we'll keep going anyway. I've got loads of enchanted weapons in my bag should I need any more. So there's a rat which wants to play hardball so I'm going to punch that thing in the face. I'm not wasting a, a, one enchant on that cure poison. Another bear. Quickly slash this thing. Dodge its attacks. Oops. Didn't dodge those last two though. Keep wandering. Looks like she's just down here somewhere. Another mountain lion. There she is. Let's get rid of this mountain lion first, eh? Hello mountain lion. You're very easy to kill. Right. So here she is. See if we can. Um, we can't yield to her. Oh, I'm going to take out this bear first, actually. Ow! Bloody hell! Run! Show you what I've got. I've got a tiny little blade. Ah! Need healing. So although I can move fast and I'm extremely agile, it's my strong, strong potions of healing drink four of those and I can jump like five miles in the air. She's just as agile or just as quick at least and I've run out of enchant for this dagger now so let's switch over to something a bit more formidable. Has about a short sword of freezing that'll do. Nice big elven short sword, long sword, thingy sword. That bear's not going down quite as quickly as I'd hoped. Where's a couple more potions of healing, I think, and a spell, and leap out of this little <laughs> hole I found myself in. Now to take on Sibylla. It looks like she's been living with the animals for quite a while, so she's probably quite rough and whatnot. Do you have anything nice on her? Just some gold. We'll take that gold. I'm assuming that was an ordinary mace she had, an ordinary steel mace. Some random food in these bags. Nothing of any value really. Some cheap wine. More random food and stuff. So it looks like she chose the easy life living in a cave. Very strange thing to be doing. But um, we've taken care of her now. On to the next unlucky Draconis family member. I don't know who it's going to be. But I'll meet you there. Save you watching me run out of this cave. So here I am in the Imperial Talus Plaza district looking for Matthias Draconis and I think this is him here right out in the open. So this is the guy we've got to kill. All hail the champion of Cyrodiil. Thank you. I'm trying to be sneaky here. It's better when you're not introducing me to everyone in the street. So I'm going to try and follow him. See where he ends up. And I'll meet you actually if he makes himself alone round here, then that would be a perfect place to take him out. If I can take him out in one hit. Now I've got a pretty cool arrow in here called the Arrow of Immolation. Which is something like 45 points on strike, so I'm going to see if this will take him out in one hit. No. <laughs> Never mind, I'll try something else then. Wait for him to be on his own and um, I'll meet you then so we can take care of him. Right, well he's wandered into the basement of Umbacano Manor and I think this is about as alone as we're going to get so I'm going to assault him, as it were. By the nine divines, assault. <laughs> See if I can kill him. 
And this blade has run out of enchantment, so I'm going to use the Ebony Blade, which will absorb his health, meaning it will heal us every time I hit him. And hopefully I did that without alerting any guards. Nope, I've got a bounty of 40 on my head. What's he got on him? Tamrielic artifacts and his house key. Probably would have been easier to kill him at his house, but I couldn't find him at his house, so that'll have to do. So I'm going to head upstairs, quick save before I do so, and see if the guards will pay it's off my over, ransom. Lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. The next move is yours. Pay your fine, or I'll haul you away. Well, you can't get lucky every time. I guess I'll just pay my gold. Here's the procedure. We go to the castle. First we search you, confiscate any stolen goods. Then you pay your fine, and we release you. Which is fine by me, because I don't have any stolen goods on me. So, we'll quickly do this, and then I'll head off and try and find the next member of the Draconis family. See you there. Yes, so now we're in Leowin, looking for Celia Draconis. Already got a green pointer on the quest thingy on the little map down there, which is a good thing. So I'm just going to head straight over to that. Hopefully, she's not like just in sight of someone. Is that her? That looks like a bloke. Yes, ah, keep going then. She's obviously further away than I thought she was. Oh, she's down here. She's a member of the guard. Hmm. Are oh, you going to be a tricky one to take out? Right, so I'm going to have to wait for her to be hidden somewhere, so I'll see you in a moment. Well, I've decided, since there's no bonuses anymore, what can I do for you, and um, the bounties I can pay off, I think a bit of just hack and slash wizardry is going to solve that. my problems right now, so I'm yeah. going to resist arrest. Just kill her as fast as I can, basically. Get arrested, pay my gold. Take this Leo and Curus and these grapes and all these keys and this money. Excuse me. Wasn't looking. Get arrested, pay the fine. Stop right there. And um just head on to the next one. I was hoping. See you in a moment. Okay. So here I am at the drunken dragon inn, staring at a horse's butt. And as before, if the um Andreas, I think Draconis, is wearing any armor whatsoever, I'm just gonna hack him to pieces deal with the guards, and head back to Mother Draconis. So, where's... what's it, Draconis? What so Andreas Draconis looks like he's just ordinary bloke, so I'm going to wait for this Imperial Guard to teeter off. Let's wait two hours, he might go to bed or something. And then just kill Andreas in his sleep. Oh, that guard's still there. Alright, try this. I'll go outside, wait another two hours. Although Andreas might be awake by now. Head back inside. And that guy's still there, but maybe we can hey get there. behind Andreas mm -hmm. or not. I'll figure this out. I'll back in a moment. Well, it looks like that Imperial soldier never leaves, but at least Andreas is asleep now. So I am going to poison this blade with whatever I've got in here that's most potent. What's that? Four points? Four points. I'll use this. Wait for the guard to turn around so I can get a sneak attack on him. And then uh, go from there. Maybe I can stand on the other side so he can't see me or something. Go away, guard. I'm getting to look this way. Ah, perfect timing. Right. Let's get a sneak attack on Andreas. Kill him in one hit. Oh, and the Imperial it's Guard did over. notice. But either way, pay the gold. That's too bad. Okay. And Here's the procedure. I'll meet you back at Marjoconis's little hut at Apple Watch. So here I am back at Apple Watch on this fine, fine day. Sorry, just checking it was Apple Watch. I had a feeling I was calling it the wrong name then. And there's Marjoconis out ploughing or hoeing or whatever she's doing. Um, let's talk to her before we kill her. See what the dealio is. Oh, back again? I don't know what else you could need. I gave you the list. That should tell you where you can find my children and what they want. Got some bad news about your children. Now please, make sure my gifts get to the children. I'm counting on you. But it looks like you're not going to give me the chance to tell you. So, sneak attack up the bum. Hey, come on now. There's no time. And she's going to run. Of course she is. <laughs> Trying to get indoors, but you didn't manage it. 
And that's every member of the Draconis family has been killed, and my next dead drop is in Castle Skingrad Courtyard. Poor girl. One of these are rare, no idea if they are, so I'm going to take those anyway. She hasn't got any money on her, so all the money she paid me for killing her family, as it were, or delivering those gifts, is what she thought she was paying me for. That's all the money she had on her. So off to Skingrad next, which is yonder. But luckily the quest pointer, of course, telling me where to find the next dead drop, so I don't have to spend ages hunting for it. It's going to be in the courtyard. I think it might be in the well, but I can't remember, to be honest. So this is Castle Skingrad. I've been here before when I was closing the gates to oblivion. I'll be here again because there's a quest I want to do in here. So let's have a look in this stone well. 500 gold for taking out an entire family and our third dead drop orders. So we have to go kill the Khajiit Jagasta. And he's in Bruma. And he's a master of unarmed combat. Will prove a challenging opponent. And he's expecting trouble. And he's paid the guards to look the other way if our fight spills out onto the city streets. So it seems like a brilliant opportunity to have a big fist fight in the streets. And if it gets too rough, I'll just pull out a sword and slice his head off. It's the way the Black Brotherhood rolls. So Bruma, the win win windy? Windy or wintry? Win wintry city, I suppose. It's got a message. Something going on over there. Where she's working. Right, so Jagasta's down here somewhere and uh, looks like time's running low I did start a timer this time I'm getting good the next video I'll be heading in here or waiting actually I suppose I don't know I'll either wait or break in looks like there's someone that can see me that guy over there probably so since he can't see me I think I'll break in and um, hopefully our fight will spill out onto the streets so we can have a big fist fight should be fun, and I'll probably lose. See my two cool rings there. A bit rubbish. What's that poking over my shoulder? That's my arrows. They should be Daedric arrows. I'm going to switch those back to Daedric arrows. I prefer my Daedric arrows. I see them there. Yeah, I can see my Daedric arrows. Anyway, that's enough banter from me and yapping and randomage. So, until the next video, take care, guys.